opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. In the scotch game, d4 gains space in the center and attacks the e5 square twice. x4 opens up the center, and is somewhat forced given that white was attacking the pawn twice, and protecting with d6 doesn't work out. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and centralizes the knight. bc5 develops the bishop to the center and attacks the knight on d4. nb3 retreats the knight while also attacking the bishop on c5. BB6 retreats the bishop and keeps it on the strong diagonal. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. Right on target. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is excellent. Takes back. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. 
This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This frees a pawn to adequately defend another piece. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's fine. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This places the rook in a passive defensive position. Often it is better to go for active counterplay in the end game, even if it loses a pawn. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. This is the strongest option. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is excellent. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This puts a rook behind a passed pawn, helping escort it to promotion. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. This evades the check from the pawn. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking rook. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This is an equal trade. 
it is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.